I'm Kevin Ogan from Chop Shop. We're a fabrication, air ride, pretty much a little bit of everything. We do a bit of body work as well. We got a number of different cars. This one here is for a full body job. We're doing fenders. We did the air ride on it already. Full metal water body, wide body. And yeah, Lexus. We got uh, one of Magnus's cars over here. Guy that runs the shop from us, does a little bit of fabrication for us as well. Um, he's done all the work on his car himself. Uh, 4G63, makes about 1200 some odd horsepower. And we're hoping to put down some good numbers this year. We have another buddy that rents the shop out from us as well. He's doing air on his truck. We're helping him out with that. And we got Drew's BMW E30 that we've done some work on as well. It'll eventually be going on air as well. Um, he has the air ride kit in stock. We'll be doing that as well. Um, what else we got? Another R32, um, full build, going NA. It'll be uh, shave bay, wire tuck, everything that we can do. Um, we got Dylan's car as well, that we're doing a full R32 turbo kit on as well. This is Kenny. Kenny's done all the, uh, the fabrication work on the Lexus for the wide body. We're just doing some repositioning of the turbo now. So the R32, is my car, my personal car. Um, used to be 76 millimeter turbo, making 500 horsepower, 11 PSI. And we decided to switch things up a little bit, um, or a lot, a bit. We got a 91 millimeter turbo on it now. Um, we've done the exhaust manifold, screamer pipe, downpipe, fuel system, intercooler, oil cooler. Um, Everything we've got has been through Vibrant. So we got Vibrant weld fittings, we got Vibrant fuel fittings, we got Vibrant uh, core, piping, oil cooler up front, and uh, as well as the fuel system in the back. Um, goals for it are hopefully north of 1,000 horsepower, and I guess we'll see, see where we go from there. We started off with center feed turbo right up front, um, top mount. I like the style of it before because it shows the turbo off. Uh, we ended up doing a sidewinder only because I like the look of it. I haven't built one. I wanted to build one. Also, we couldn't fit uh, we couldn't fit this turbo in the back, so it had to go on the side no matter what. I was always after a certain look of being symmetrical, so this is kind of what we have come up with. It was a pain in the but it was, it was fun, it was a fun build. What's left on the car? Um, we got the intake manifold out right now. Um, we fully CNC'd, flow tested. It's at Magnus Motorsports right now, which has been helping us out a lot with the, with the deal. Um, they're gonna be doing the welding to finish off the welds on it. And once that's back in the, we can finish the piping up for the charge piping. And once the charge piping's done, we have oil, fuel, and that's it, she'll fire. So once we fire it up, the first thing we're gonna do is cook some hot dogs because we have a perfect hot dog rotisserie right here, uh, some 7-Eleven um, Once we do that, then everything's getting pulled out. Once the motor's running, um, we've ironed out some tweaks. We motor comes out, everything's being sent to powder coat. Um, we're gonna try and figure out something to do with the wrap because obviously it's gonna get hot. Once we get the intake manifold back, finish the charge piping, um, we're gonna do oil, coolant, uh, make sure the fuel system's up to par. Um, once we get it fired up and running, um, kind of expecting that to be within the next couple months. Um, once we have that said and done, everything's gonna get pulled out, like I said. Everything's gonna get coated, everything's going back in. Um, interior needs to get put back in, cage needs to be done, and once we go from there, I don't know, I'm hoping for midsummer. Midsummer we'll have it up and running, everything will be done. Um, once that's all done, we have it running, I have a spare block 
and motor that we're going to be sending out uh, to get fully built and then we can crank it up and really see what the potential is and, uh, and just see where we go from there. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be taking the car out to a couple shows this year. Um, done or not, it's coming out. Um, we're going to see what's going on. Um, hopefully, maybe we can get a track day in at the end of the year. Uh, if you guys want to check us out some more, um, we have Instagram account, it's Chop Shop TGSC. And we also are on Facebook as Chop Shop. And, and yeah, you can see everything on that we do. Um, we do a lot more air suspension, uh, detailed trunk setups. And uh, we're getting a little bit more into the fabrication stuff. It's a little bit more fun for me. And, and yeah, come check us out.